everybody! Welcome back to our weekly live stream. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about quick responses to questions about food. So we've done some quick response practice in live streams before. For this lesson, I'm going to focus on very common questions about food and restaurants and ordering at restaurants and give you some sample answers that you can train so you can quickly respond to these questions. So make sure to send us a message as you join us live. Send a message in the chat on YouTube or Facebook. Also, make sure to like and share the video so other learners can find today's lesson. And we're going to begin in just a moment. As we wait for other people to join, as usual, announcements. Announcement one, as always, there is free stuff in the link below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook. Free vocabulary PDFs for you to download and check out. I will show you these a bit later. There's some new ones. Also, uh, if you haven't checked recently, I've been sharing about this recently, please make sure to send your questions to our weekly question and answer series, Ask Alicia. This is a picture from a recent episode. So if you have a small grammar point or just a vocabulary question or a word history question you're curious about, please send it to me at englishclass101.com slash ask hyphen Alicia and I can maybe <laughs> answer the question in this weekly series. So please check that out if you have not already. All right, I see a few people in the chat. Hello on YouTube. I saw a member earlier, I missed your name. I saw you, I saw you, but I missed your name. Hello, someone from El Salvador, I did see you. Where were you? There's so many. Yeah, there you are, Judah. Hi there. We have one of our members in the chat. Welcome. Lots of others too. Uh, MD and Noe and Dario and Foodie, a person called Foodie. Cool. Okay. On Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Shalom and Kalab and Ahmed and Sokol and Daniel from Sao Paulo. Cool. All right. Lots of people are here. No, you cannot download this video because it is live. <laughs> we are not finished making the video yet. So please wait until after the live stream. You can watch this video after the live stream has ended. You can watch this on YouTube or on Facebook. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get into today's topic a little bit. As I said, today we are doing quick response practice. Quick response. So I have three groups of questions I'm going to talk about. Out, and I'm going to share some sample responses. But of course, if you have another response, please send your response in the chat. I will try to check live. And of course, you can share ideas with the other people joining today's lesson live. So I'm going to share today's lesson and then I'm going to begin. Today, we're going to begin with questions about like making a decision, like what you want to eat, talking about uh, the type of food you want to eat. So first, let's look at this one. This is probably the most basic question that you can use here. It's very straightforward and easy to understand. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? At native speed, this question sounds like, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? So these connect right here, these sounds. What do you want to eat? So not what do you want to eat, but what do you want to eat? So to respond to this question, we can use very simple patterns. We can say something like, let's go to, let's go to, and then you follow with a restaurant, like a restaurant name. That's fine. Let's go to ABC restaurant or let's go to Taco Bell. Let's go to Burger King. You can use a restaurant name here. You can also change your preposition. Instead of let's go to plus a place, you can change this to let's go for and then a cuisine. So cuisine, this word is pronounced cuisine, cuisine. So cuisine means like a specific region's food, food from a specific region. So like Italian or like Chinese. So a type of food, a category of food, food from a country or food from a specific place, a specific region. So let's go for Italian. Let's go for Japanese. So you can use go for both of these patterns, 
but we change the preposition. Let's go to a place. We're talking about movement or let's go for Italian. So we don't say let's go to Italian. We could say let's go to an Italian place or an Italian restaurant. That is okay. But if you want to describe the cuisine, use for. Let's go for this thing. Okay. I don't see any questions, so let's continue uh, to the next one. Uh, so this is the basic, uh, the first most basic question. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Second one, what sounds good? What sounds good? This question is multi-purpose. Like, that means you can use this question for situations outside food and dining. For today, we're using it for food. So this means what food sounds good to you right now. So, in other words, it means, what do you want to eat? What sounds good? Points. This S sound. Many people forget to pronounce the S sound. What sounds good? What sounds good? So, in native speed, this question sounds like, what sounds good? Or, what sounds good to you? What sounds good to you? So, you can use this let's go pattern again, or just use cuisine here. What sounds good to you? Italian. What sounds good to you? Chinese. What sounds good to you? Thai. What sounds good to you? You can also use a dish name here. So you can use a cuisine or a dish, a dish. So dish here, uh, it's hard to see, sorry. Dish, D-I-S-H. So to use a dish means to name a food. So tacos or ramen, or sushi, or pasta, for example. What sounds good to you? Pasta. What sounds good to you? Soup. <laughs> Whatever sounds good to you, you can use just the dish name here as well. You don't need to make a full sentence. Just name the food you want to eat in response to this question. You can also use this dish in response to what do you want to eat? Totally fine. No problem there. Okay, good. Some examples are coming in. Very nice. Uh, Mexican food sounds good. Yeah. Ah, you don't need, uh, no way. Thanks for your example sentence. It says the Mexican food sounds good. You don't need to include the before the type of cuisine. Like Mexican food sounds good or Italian food sounds good. So no article there. Okay, other examples. Uh, Abdallah on Facebook says, how do I politely ask, what do you want to eat? Sure, so these are kind of casual, everyday use questions. To make this a little bit more polite, you can say, what would, oops, sorry, what would, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? to eat. Sorry, hard to see. What would you like to eat is a little more polite than what do you want to eat. What would you like to eat? At native speed, it sounds like, what would you like to eat? Okay, let's go to the next question. What do you feel like? And I have eating here in parentheses. What do you feel like? Because often we drop this eating. So what do you feel like means like, what sounds good? It's the same meaning, but it's focusing on your feelings. So what do you feel like? This isn't a question about your health or like your body condition. It's asking about food in this case, in this situation. So sometimes people include uh, eating. Like what do you feel like eating? The reason I include this here is because sometimes we change the verb. For example, if we're not talking about food, if we're talking about movies, we might say, what do you feel like watching? Something like that. So we can change the verb here to like suit the situation. For today's lesson, what do you feel like eating? Not to eat. What do you feel like to eat is incorrect. What do you feel like eating? What do you feel like eating? So again, we can use the same responses here. Let's go to or let's go for a cuisine or a dish. Okay. Uh, then let's finish this part with one more question. What are you in the mood for? What are you in the mood for? So again, 
we're using this casual expression. And yes, you hear this ending with a preposition. That's OK. This is a very common expression. What are you in the mood for? Again, in this context, in this situation, we understand it's about food. What are you in the mood for? Italian. What are you in the mood for? Uh, ooh, someone says Moroccan food. Yeah, nice example. So these are a few ways to ask someone about their preferences and quick ways to respond. So let's go to, let's go for your cuisine name or a dish name. So quick introduction part there. Uh, all right, I don't see any other questions yet. Uh, 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 Masaya, hey Masaya on Facebook says, food or foods, should this be singular or plural? In this case, we sh we're probably going to use food. We're probably going to use the singular food. Foods has some applications. We use foods some in some specific situations. Uh, like when we're talking about like foods from another country, like specific uh, types of dishes. But for uh, these questions, you're probably going to use the singular form. Okay, uh, how do we answer the third question? What do you feel like eating? You can use all of these. All of these can be used to answer all of these questions, actually. So what do you feel like eating? Oh, let's go to that restaurant. Or let's go for, I feel like I'm using Chinese a lot. <laughs> let's go for Chinese. Or like, let's go for steak. Uh, you can use all of these patterns to answer all of these questions. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, that looks pretty good. So let's take one quick break, and then we'll go to part two for today. All right, let's take a look. I chose the food related, the food related PDFs to show you. If you have not checked the PDFs in the link below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube or face uh, or Instagram, <laughs> please check YouTube or Facebook. There's new. There are new PDFs. Uh, I will show you this one first. Uh, for food-related vocabulary, there are three I chose. This one is new. This is the supermarket one. This has vocabulary words for shopping at the supermarket. So lots of nouns to practice here. And then on the back, you'll also find more vocabulary words. But this part, I think, is interesting. Labels. How to read like this label on food, like the key words here. This is a group of words you can study. And this is for shopping, so like discounts and making payment. This is good for shopping in the supermarket. But today, today I'm focusing on like this topic, though, dining. Dining means eating out. So champ is short for champion. But these are expressions you can use at a restaurant. These are vocabulary words you can use to finish the questions we talked about in part one. So I'll show you uh, more details of this a little bit later. But if you want to get these and more, please check the link below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook. You can download them for free. Uh, with an account. You need to make an account. The account is free and then you can download these for free as well. Okay, so let's continue to part two of today's lesson then. Uh, if you're just joining, today we're talking about quick responses to questions about food and eating at restaurants. So let's continue. If you have not, also please make sure to like and share the video so other people can find it. Let's go to part two. Part two is choosing a restaurant, choosing a restaurant. So now I want to talk about restaurant specific uh, questions and answers. So yes, we talked a bit about restaurants and cuisine uh, a little bit here. I want for this part to focus on choosing restaurants. So you're going out to eat somewhere. In these questions, you could use these at home. Like, what do you want to eat? You could be talking about food at home. These questions are specifically about going to a restaurant. So hints here, where, where do you want to go? So meaning not here. Or where should we go for dinner? Where should we go for lunch? So let's talk about how to answer, a few ways to answer these. One, we can use this pattern we talked about in part one. Let's go to restaurant 
name, or let's go for cuisine. That is also okay. If, however, you want to be a little more specific about like a feature or a characteristic of a restaurant, you can use a pattern like this. Let's go someplace, oops, sorry, let's go someplace, someplace, or somewhere is also okay. I'll include that here. Let's go someplace or let's go somewhere plus an adjective. Plus an adjective. So this should be an adjective you can use to describe the restaurant. So for example, some very common ones. Let's go someplace cheap or let's go someplace fast or let's go someplace fancy. Mm. So if there's a specific like feeling you're looking for, let's go someplace fun or let's go someplace casual. You can use this pattern to reply. So both of these questions, where do you want to go and where should we go for meal can be answered with this pattern. Okay. So this is one way to include like characteristics about a restaurant you want to go to. Okay, another way to describe like the features, like uh, something you want inside the restaurant or some feeling about the restaurant is, again, starting with let's go. Let's go, uh, you can include two if you like. Let's go to a place that has, let's go to a place that has. So before, we talked about an adjective, yeah? In this, we're going to use a noun phrase. Let's go to a place that has noun phrase. For example, let's go to a place that has a nice view. Let's go to a place that has a nice view. Let's go to a place that has a special cocktail menu, for example. Mm. Something special or something unique you want to describe about the restaurant, you can use a noun phrase and you can introduce it with that has. So let's go to a place. You can also use let's go someplace or let's go somewhere. Also perfectly fine. They're all okay. So some examples are coming in and some other good ideas. Uh, Gertrudis on YouTube says, let's go someplace romantic. Good, okay. Edgar says, let's go someplace fancy. No, I'm broke. <laughs> good, okay. Ren says, let's go to Italy restaurant. Close. Let's go to an Italian restaurant. So Italy is the country name. We need to use the form that describes the food. Italian restaurant, Italian restaurant. Uh, you Sander says, let's go to a place that has Japanese food. Perfect. Edgard says, let's go to a place that has live music. Yes, exactly. Nice examples. That's great. Live music. Okay, cool. What else? Uh, easy and fun English. Hello. Uh, says, shall we eat to a restaurant? Can we say that? No, we cannot say, shall we eat to a restaurant? You could say, shall we eat at? A restaurant shall we eat at a restaurant but this sounds very formal instead we would probably say do you want to go to a restaurant do you want to go to a restaurant all right on Facebook Bori says let's go to a place that has a special dessert menu dessert menu ah and make sure dessert has two s's two s's let's go to a place that has a special or a good for example a good dessert menu Spelling point there. Dessert has two S's. Dessert. Desert has one S. Small difference, but uh, other things. I don't see other examples. Oh, Lizette on Facebook says, let's go to a place that has a terrace. Nice. Perfect. 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 Exactly. Very nice job. Okay. Uh, Risa, is that our Risa? Is that our Risa? Okay, let's go to a place. Let's go to a place that has vegan food. That has vegan food. Great, good point. Vegan food or vegetarian food if you have special uh, preferences for food. Okay, nice. Wow, really good examples. Um, let's go to a place that has kebabs. <laughs> That's good. I ate kebabs yesterday. Great, very nice examples, everybody. Okay. Um, let's see, we got about 10 minutes left, so 
Uh, I will take one more break and then we'll go to the last part of today's lesson. Keep sending your examples. I will try to check them a little after the break. It takes a little time to get to us. So uh, while you send your examples, I will share the other PDFs I showed you earlier. I started to show you this one, this dining one. So this is today's focus, is going out to a restaurant, eating at a restaurant. I wanted to show you, yeah, this guy on the back. So this is, again, this is the dining one. On the back, right here, on the back is, there are three groups. There are kind of three categories. And this is the one I was looking at. Table requests in the restaurant. We're going to talk about uh, ordering at the restaurant at the table in just a minute. And we're also going to talk a little bit, may, uh, maybe a little bit, about uh, commenting on food. But if you want more expressions to practice going to a restaurant and to use when you're at the restaurant, you can check out this one, the Dining Like a Champ PDF. Cheat sheet. So you can check this out. Find this from the link below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook. Okay, some questions are coming in now. Uh, I saw someone... What does fancy mean? Gooch says, what does fancy mean? Fancy means some place where the, uh, the feeling of the restaurant is kind of expensive. You should wear nice clothes and there's nice music and nice drinks and nice food. It costs a lot of money. Fancy, some place that is fancy. In American English, that's how we use fancy. Okay, let's go to a place that has free parking. Nice ones, Edgar, really nice. Okay, let's continue to part three of today's lesson then. Judah says, let's go to a place that has pupusas. Okay, I don't know what that is. All right, let's try, okay. Anyway, let's go to the third part of today's lesson. If you're just joining, today we're doing quick response practice for questions about food and specifically going to restaurants, how to respond quickly to those. So the last part of today's lesson is ordering at a restaurant. So these are very common questions. Uh, when you get to the restaurant with your friend or whoever, your family member, your date, and these are very common questions you can practice some responses to. First, what are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Gonna is the reduced form of going to. So what are you going to get? Get. So get means receive. Or what are you going to choose? So we don't say what are you going to choose. We say what are you going to get? What are you going to get? So that means you're looking at the menu and your friend asks you this question. Meaning what, in other words, what sounds good to you? What are you going to get? What are you going to get? So. To respond to this question specifically, this question specifically, I'm gonna get, oops, sorry, I'm gonna get plus the dish name. I'm gonna get plus the dish name. Okay, a couple points, a couple points here. One, don't forget this mm sound. I hear many learners say, I gonna. It's not correct. I am gonna reduces to I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So not I gonna. I'm gonna get dish. Don't forget this get either. We need that verb. I'm going to get steak. I'm going to get a salad. I'm going to get shrimp. Whatever your dish is, I'm gonna get this. So this is a very easy way. Uh, to express that. This is a situation where you can use will, like, eh, I'll get this thing. But because we've used going to in the question, it sounds a little more natural to respond with going to. So kind of matching the feel of the question. What are you going to get? I'm going to get, I don't know, pizza. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Blackout says, can we use have instead of get? Like, what are you going to have? Yeah, sure. That's fine. What are you going to have? That sounds fine. What are you going to have? What are you going to get? Also fine. Yeah, no problem. Uh, other questions? I'm going to get lasagna, says Lizette. That sounds good, actually. I would, I would like to get lasagna. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get ceviche. Yeah, I had really good ceviche earlier this summer. It was awesome. All right, let's continue to the next group of questions, or rather the next 
pair of questions. Do you wanna get an appetizer? Here's a good, maybe new word for some people. Appetizer, uh, appetizer, A-P-P-E-T-I-Z-E-R, appetizer. An appetizer is the small thing, the small food that comes before your main dish in some restaurants. So maybe it's like cheese and crackers or like tapas, that kind of thing. So do you wanna, wanna is the reduced form of want to. Do you want to get an appetizer, an, we must include this article here, an. We use an because appetizer begins with a vowel sound. Do you wanna get an appetizer? So, would you like to get an appetizer, is what this question means. So, the answer to this is just yes or no. <laughs> yes or no, that's it. The short answer, the short answer. So, respond with yes or sure, usually. Yeah, or sure, or yes is great. Of course, if not, you can change this to nah. So I've written N-A-H. That's how we express nah. It's not as direct as no. Like no is quite direct. So we might say nah instead. So do you want to get an appetizer? Yeah, sure. That's great. And then choose it. Let's get, so after you agree, let's get plus your dish. Let's get shrimp. <laughs> Let's get, uh, what else is a good appetizer? Let's get a salad. Let's get cheese. So small foods, small foods. Sausage. <laughs> okay. Nice one, control desk. Okay, I don't know why. That one's very funny to me. Okay. Uh, TG Maxx says, no, I don't want to get nothing. Okay, very casual response using the double negative there. Good examples, though. Uh, so yes, I want to get salad, some people say. Uh, in French, an appetizer is called entree or apéritif as well. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I don't know French. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, why does get have so many meanings? Because get is a, ex is a very exciting verb, I guess. There are so many different meanings. So many different meanings. It does have a lot of different meanings. Okay. Let's... Ah! I wondered, I don't think I have a verb video about get because get has many, many meanings. <laughs> and so it's hard to make one video about the verb get. But yes, it does have quite a lot. I have made some whiteboard videos about it. Maybe they're not out yet. Okay, let's go to the last point here. The last one. Are you gonna get a drink? Are you gonna get a drink? So we see here again this gonna. Gonna, just as we saw here, gonna, this short form of going to. Are you gonna get a drink? That's what a native person, a native speaker would say. Are you going to get a drink? Sounds very stiff. So we connect this. Are you gonna get a drink? Are you gonna get a drink? Gonna get a drink? So very quick, very quick. So again, we can answer with yes or no. Like, yeah, but with this one, with this response, are you going to get a drink? We cannot use sure. We cannot use sure. Because sure is an agreement phrase. In these two, the speaker is asking a question. Like, do you want to do this thing? Like, suggesting, I want to do this thing. Do you want to do this thing with me? So you can answer with sure. That sounds good. Here, this is a yes or no question. It's not asking for, like, agreement. So we cannot use sure to respond to this. Are you going to get a drink? You can use yeah or no or nah. So just a simple yes or no response is good. So you cannot use sure to respond to this. But these very quick yes or no. Very quick yes or no. This one expressing what you want to eat at the restaurant with I'm gonna get plus your dish name. Okay, let's check the comments. Why don't you make a series of videos about the verb get, a whole series about get, and I'll put it, I'll put it in my head, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's an idea, that's an idea. Thanks for that. Uh, are you gonna get a drink? Yes, exactly, very nice, very nice. 
Uh, why use are not do in the last question? Uh, oh, I see. Why use here? Do you gonna get a drink is grammatically incorrect. So, do you want to? Do you going to is grammatically incorrect. So, do you, we're using do you for a present tense, like a present tense situation. Do you want to right now? Do you going to? Do you is for present tense. Going to is future tense, so there's a mismatch there. We cannot use do you gonna. Okay, uh, other ones. My writing isn't clear. I'm very sorry, I'm writing quickly live. Uh, I could say, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna get a drink. Yes, I'm gonna get a drink. We don't use some for one. Some is used for plural forms. I'm gonna get some drinks for my friends is great, perfect. I'm gonna get some drinks for the party, great. I'm gonna get a drink for myself, for myself. So singular, we cannot use some. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, how do I replay all the live videos? Please check the video, uh, if you're watching on Facebook, the video portion, the video part of the Facebook page. On YouTube, all the live videos are on the YouTube page as well. So please check one of those. Instagram, it's not saved, so please check Facebook or YouTube. Also, I cannot see your comments in real time, sorry. Okay, we have to wrap up there. So I hope that that was uh, like a, a good introduction to how to answer these questions uh, and a few grammatical points as well too. So please uh, use these. I hope that you can use these the next time you make plans to visit a restaurant in English. Uh, but I have to finish today's lesson. So next week we will be back. Next week, what is next week's lesson? I forgot. What is the topic for next week? I have it on my list. It is not in my brain though. <laughs> I How to, ah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm going to talk about uh, English for interview. expressions and some maybe some questions um, you can expect in interviews. So please join us live next week, September 18th, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York City time. Please Google to find your local time and you can set a notification on YouTube or Facebook to get an announcement when we begin the live. So Please join us again next week for more live stuff. All right, I will finish up there. And don't forget to get your free PDF stuff. I showed you the food ones, but there are so many other topics. So please check these out from the link below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook. Thank you very much for liking and sharing the video. We really appreciate it. And hope you enjoy your week and have a nice weekend. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.